Hi, I'm Laura Beatty, and this is my God story. I'm a 20 year breast cancer survivor, and I participate in the Susan G. Komen three day 60 mile walks. My first one was in 2006. Shortly after that, my brother gave me a book, book of Colorado 14 or mountains and challenged me that if I could walk 60 miles, I could climb three. My first attempt failed. In 2012, I tried again. It was supposed to be a short two to three hour out and back hike, but he went to the wrong trailhead. The venture turned into a seven hour round trip. We started out through a wetland and headed up the side of Mount Bierstadt. We walked for around three hours and then we hit the scramble area. There wasn't really a trail at this point, just rocks with cairns, piles of rocks, to mark the way. That's my brother leaving me behind in the summit off to the left in the distance. Perspective-wise, there are people standing on the summit, so it's further away than it looks. This was my first trip after I had separated from my husband. As we hit this part of the climb, you can hardly breathe, your legs are like lead, and your heart is racing. As we gained altitude, at about every 50 yards, I had to sit and take a break to lower my heart rate and catch my breath. This is where the devil came into play. My mind is saying, you can't even make it up this mountain. You're such a failure. You failed at your marriage, your kids are struggling, you just can't get anything right, and now you can't even do this. I'm sitting there, crying under my sunglasses, and then the voices of people from my life, my friends, co-workers, family, take over and I hear, you've got this. You've made it through so much already, you can handle this. We have faith in you. Then a random hiker would pass by on the way down, tap me on the shoulder and say, hey, the next cairn's right around the corner, you're nearly there. So I'd get up, make it to the next pile of rocks, sit down and go through the same thing again, woe is me. Each time I'd hear all my failures and then the voices would start again telling me, I've got this, it'll all be good, you're gonna make it. Next thing I knew, I was at the top. Well, not quite, because there was a big boulder I had to step across, and when I went to do that, I realized there was a sheer drop down the side of the mountain. I'm afraid of heights, but it was a little late to worry about that. I skirted around the other side and made it to the summit marker. The, mar the summit was beautiful, the sky incredibly clear and blue, you could nearly touch the clouds. Where is God in this story? Other than at the very beginning, you couldn't see the trail, you just headed up. People pointed out the next turn, the easiest rocks to climb over, and where the next cairn was. But once you got to the top, you could see the entire path back down. It was very significant to me at that time. My mom had passed when I was 14. We moved to Texas shortly after. I joined the police department in 1986. I was married in 1990 and we had two wonderful girls. In 2003, I had breast cancer and at the time of the hike, I was separated from my spouse of 20 years and facing a future I wasn't prepared for. Proverbs 3, 5, 5 to 6 says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will make your paths straight. This climb reminds me that although we can't always see where our life is taking us or why we're going through whatever we're dealing with, as long as you trust in God, he will make a way for you. And maybe if the path isn't that straight, he'll at least reveal it to you once you've completed the climb.